Rich Formadoni, how are you? Not too bad, Nick. Good to see you as always. Well, I must admit, it's really nice being in this quiet demo room with some air conditioning. Absolutely. As I'm sure you probably try and spend much of your time. Um, so, new updates to some rather... Th these, these look like kind of the sort of thing you'd have in your home as a sort of centerpiece. Yes. So, Tell me about them. Well, these are our flagship instruments, the Selviano Grand Hybrids. What makes these instruments truly unique is the keyboard action, which we'll show you some more of in just a minute. But just to give you a little example of how great they sound. So that's one of three legendary pianos that we've recreated here. That's the Hamburg. There's also a Berlin. And then there is the Vienna. So it's not just piano one, two, and three. These each have individual personalities. It's like owning three of the greatest pianos in the world. These were designed in collaboration with C. Beckstein. And the keys are actually full-length Austrian spruce keys. And we'll give you an x-ray view of them at, at the moment. They're made with the same materials and processes that go into C. Beckstein pianos. And they're connected via a hammer mechanism that Casio designed to a system that recreates all the pivot points found in a grand piano. So that's for feel, that's not actually hitting a note. These are presumably sampled or they're sample based or model based? They're sample based, but the, uh, the hammers themselves, or the stems I should say, are hitting sensors instead of strings. Ah, uh -huh. okay, so right, you, so I mean it's all about the action. Yes, actually, it right? is all about the action. There is no other way to get the feel of a concert grand piano in the shape of an upright. This is a very unique and powerful instrument. This new model has some very notable upgrades. The piano sounds have longer decay in the sample, so it's a much longer natural sound. There's also a brand new harpsichord tone, which we've added. And you can see also the screen has been inverted, so you can see it a bit easier than you could other, uh, other instruments and from a wider angle. So the harpsichord tone has key off That's samples. Yeah, I can hear that, yeah. The, yeah, it's very nice. The speaker system has also been upgraded. The magnets that are driving the speakers are now twice as large, so they push a bit more air. It's louder, but the main benefit is that the clarity in mid-range and treble frequencies has been improved. So it's much easier to discern individual notes. It's really much clearer and even that much closer to that of an acoustic piano. There's some options to disable the internal speakers. If you're in a music lab, that's great because you can dial it in with a headphone distribution system. There's some EQ options. If you want to plug in with the lineouts as we've done here, you can disable the master EQ. There's, there's a bunch of different upgrades that have really come from the user base and people requesting these changes to be made. So Casio has heard, listened, and here's the result. So this is the GP510. There's also a GP310. We've got a black version and this white one. These uh, GP310s have a new finish, so it's a little natural, uh, more natural wood color. And you can see the white just looks great, especially in this room. <laughs> so uh, are these, uh, I mean, what's the kind of weight like? Are people using these on stage? Because I'd imagine, you know, given the choice, it's like, do you want to have, you know, because a nine foot grand is a lot of stuff to, work, to carry around. Either. Yes. But this would have a similar sort of presence, I suppose, in some way. That is the idea. Wherever a nine foot grand isn't practical, but you really need that touch and that sound, that's where you need a grand hybrid. So we, we end up finding a lot of uh, GP300s and 310s in practice rooms. Because if you're playing a beat up old upright as you practice, it's not going to have the same feel as when you get on stage with a concert grand. But this does. This has that exact touch so that when you're performing, you can just rely on the same muscle memory you used when you practice. Right, okay. Does it have a, I mean, guess MIDI sounds like a bit of a kind of cheesy thing to ask about, <laughs> but I mean, I suppose, does it have MIDI? It does. Uh, USB okay. MIDI, it's class compliant and uh, just works. No drivers, no installation needed. It's true plug and play. Excellent. And, and I mean, this seems like flagship. Flagship tends to denote uh, announce price. So I, I'm going to ask, but yeah, and you can tell me if or not what the price is. I imagine Ooh. it's kind of, you know, not low end, right? No, no, it's not low end. In the USA, uh, uh, you'll see the retail price of this particular model is fifty nine ninety nine, and the GP three ten is thirty nine ninety nine. Right. Okay, but I mean, a piano, piano would cost you easily more than that. Right? Even an upright. Yes, that's very true. Now, what I'd like to do, if you don't mind, is come outside and we'll show you what's underneath the hood, the internal workings of the Grand Hybrid. Okay. So, what's going on here? 
is this is the 88 key key bed that features those keys I mentioned earlier with the full length spruce body. There are leather bushings under the pins as opposed to felt, so they need no maintenance, no regulation. And if you peer in from the side, you can see the hammer mechanism I was telling you about. There's a piece of uh, uh, material in here that recreates the three pivot points that you'd see on a grand piano, and that's yeah, the so hammer I mean, rising so it up. It really is a full on kind of piano action, proper yes. piano action. Where other digital instruments try to recreate the feel of a concert grand, a grand hybrid simply includes it. Right. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Great to see you, Nick.